Introducing New Japan Land. Here is a world that has for some reason made New Zealand and Japan collide into one another and it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm really focused on this just beautiful gulf that is formed up right in the middle. There'd be not only one but two ways out. Can you imagine the chaos that could take place in here? It seems like a fun tourism spot. Look at this river right here. And then the mountains would probably look stunning from both sides on the southern island of New Zealand as well as, I forgot what this mountain range is called in Japan. Wait, really? Really? I honestly should have known that. That is so simple to remember. I'll probably never forget this name now. The biggest mountain range in the South Island of New Zealand is also Southern Alps. So maybe the name of these two combined countries should just be Alpland. Although, like what we said with all this water, I don't think the mountains would be the thing this place is known for. I'm also forgetting that we now just have a gigantic North Island. Or Big Hokkaido. Imagine the Lord of the Rings anime we'd get out of this. The World War Z Safe Zones. I am now just realizing for the first time in my life, World War Z means World War Zombies. Did everyone already know that? So for some reason in this world, some of the safe spots in North America is the West Coast. And then of course some random islands out here. That makes sense. I wonder how the zombies got on some islands, but not on others. I guess it depends on like what type of zombies are we talking about. Are they swimming zombies? Now I'm assuming in this world the patient zero, or at least the patient zero for this continent, must have started in the East Coast. This area is really not very populated at all, so maybe that's how they were able to keep it so yellow and it seems like the normal humans still in South America are hiding away in the mountains And there are a couple of pockets here still in the Amazon chilling out here like some of those uncontacted tribes If anyone's gonna survive the zombie apocalypse, it's probably them Of course the seven people living in Antarctica are good Africa however is not good I imagine there's like a Dunkirk scenario happening in South Africa right now They're not able to hold back the zombie invasion and slowly they're trying to take humans to probably someplace else Maybe Argentina it's always been a popular escape route so these zombies clearly have a problem with like higher altitudes and then of course with just like islands in general green areas are eradicated areas I don't know what that means if yellow is safe zone how did Iran and Pakistan manage to do this as we saw in North America the less densely populated areas of course are gonna be a bit better I love how we still have no idea what's going on in North Korea I imagine this might be the safest place on earth down here we have the countries attending the Honolulu conference because of course Hawaii would be the safest place on earth far and away so interestingly there are still some countries there is somewhat of a United Nations going on in this universe even though a lot of these nations are like completely unrecognizable like I don't even know what the point of, of putting a German flag here that's basically just Austria at this point love how humans are now using like the Great Wall of China but they're on the side where um, like the invaders are on the zombies are actually just China basically not surprised to see Vietnam still doing good these humans are probably gonna outlast everyone up in here they just chilling in the trees most safe zones in Eurasia are in mountain ranges islands or complete empty land like Siberia. So how did the whole of Denmark survive as a safe zone? Even zombies don't want to go to Denmark. <laughs> Oh man, the Swedes are gonna love this. The Skyrim electoral map, or if the Skyrim land had a US political system. Our candidates, Ulfric, Stormcloak, as well as Servius Tullius. I think I butchered that. Now there seems to be a pretty big political divide down this country. This is clearly some sort of fantasy universe because this is one of the rare scenarios where pretty much all political issues don't just come down to rural and urban. Is Whiterun just perfectly divided down the middle? Can they not decide? 112 Jaro votes are needed to win this one. Tune in 3.30 p.m. Skyrim local time to see who comes out on top. Canada is not yet lost. We've already held for six months. We can hold for six more. This is showing the American invasion of Canada with our 1.5 million soldiers. But unfortunately, the other side has us outnumbered. 38 million Canadians because they've all become soldiers. If this is all the U.S. has taken in the span of six months, then we have some major problems. Although it does seem like we've taken like a lot of pretty valuable stuff here. So Basically, all the Canadians have moved from their cities and now are going to fight in the tundra. Maybe with winter on their side, we'll freeze and go home. So basically, 20 years after the fall of American democracy, there was a televised address where our, I guess our dictator said that Canada was a false state. I am really curious just to see how long the Canadians would be able to hold out for, because they do have plans just in case a scenario like this ever were to happen. I mean, basically for that country's entire existence, they've had to be prepared for something like this to occur. This reminds me of the very real 
life map of Canada's secret plan to invade the U.S. in 1921. The U.S. Department of War created the War Plan Red, which is a hypothetical war with the British Empire at the time, so we would have had to go after Canada. This is just prior to World War II. That would have been insanity. I'm afraid to ask anyone who they think would win at this time because I think that would lead to just complete chaos in the comment section. The Fall of Britannia. Here's some future prediction. In this world, Scotland gained their independence in 2023 with a referendum that 61% of people voted for. Then eight years later, Ireland became unified. That was the Good Friday referendum. Not quite as high, but still pretty high. And by 2035, both Scotland and Northern Ireland have left the United Kingdom. Scotland plans to apply for re-entry into the EU and NATO. And here goes the Union Jack being folded up. What happens to Wales? Does Wales just stay here or what's up? It's gonna be the exact moment the Queen comes back with her parachute after she wins the Gulag. Just gonna make sure this doesn't happen. Oh, I just realized this horrible flag we have of England and Wales because they're the only ones that are together. That might be the scariest thing of all in this entire scenario. The country and continent of Atlantis and their World Heritage Sites. The biggest thing here is they've claimed the entire island of Iceland to be their World Heritage Site. That's still a pending case though. I'm not sure they're gonna allow it. So a couple of the famous things here is this Lothbrook Church. Also this castle. Some sort of ring structure they used to communicate with the aliens. The Sea People's Cave Site and Temple of Poseidon. Drake's Blue Hole and Carthaginian Elephant Sanctuary. Did the Carthaginians colonize this for some reason? I love all the references to like the ocean and Atlantis and things like that. Some sort of Aztec pyramid it appears. Always wondered how much faster we would have found the New World if Atlantis was here. Maybe not that much faster. Didn't the Portuguese get here in Spain maybe? It's possible they could have stumbled upon this maybe, I don't know, 100 years earlier? Doesn't sound right. We once again request UNESCO to recognize Iceland as an integral part of the Atlantean heritage. Oh cool, a We Went Backpacking to Atlantis starter pack. This freaking poster, of course everyone wearing Hawaiian shirts, or maybe they're Atlantis shirts in this universe. Can't sink Atlantis twice, that's Athenian propaganda. The Atlantis hearts Iceland shirts everywhere doesn't speak Atlantean. Who runs this place? Is it Aquaman? Man, one thing for sure, these people are stylish. I didn't realize until right now that all these images are AI generated. You can really tell with the horrifying elephants. But man, I would have totally been I had no idea. I, I thought I, I thought you were just ripping other images. That is really unique. I almost didn't catch that. Man, now I really want to go to Atlantis. Maybe I'll ask Amelia Earhart. She probably knows where it is. A very improbable Asia. Or in other words, the most cursed Asian map I think I've ever seen. To start things off, we have the Union of Arab Feminists. It is unified Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, and a lot of Saudi Arabia. There's also this Empire of Palestine right here. We have a very broken up India. They are not unified at all with a lot of the United States of India. Very original capital city. We have a gigantic Tibetan Empire, but Bhutan still stands. Oh, I think they might be part of the Tibet. Oh, these are like either satellite states or vassals or I don't know. Ugandan Indian territory? How did you get to Thailand? We've had North and South Vietnam. Yes. Now get ready for West and East Vietnam. I think I'm going to be sick. We have the Republic of China and then the People's Republic of China, so the communism is just on this island. Mongolia has now just been banished to Outer Mongolia, not even the inner part anymore, and Tanutuva is also Mongolian lands. Meanwhile, Kazakhstan remains the USSR. They were the last member of this union, and they remain it still today. Also, they're trying to form this Holy Stan Empire right here, but I don't think it's going very well. Two Koreas weren't enough, we need four. I'm going to assume Democratic Republic of Korea is probably being led by Kim Jong-un, but we also have a monarchy down here, and I think some of the communism has gotten a little bit on Japan because that sounds like a very communist name. Whenever you see a country use the words People's Republic, you already know something funky is about to go down. After World War II, Japan was divided in between the Soviets and Americans. The Maldives, which were British territory, were invaded by Argentina for revenge of the annexation of the Falkland Islands. Definitely did not name Central Asian countries after BTS members. Also, Nintendo almost bought Japan. I am disgusted and I want more. A 1950s map of the Western Union. Let's see if we can can figure this out. USA, UK, Free France, Portugal, Russia, Far East. Okay, yeah, so this is a NATO, but a NATO set up to stop a no-no Germany that was very successful. So in this universe, it's clear the skinny mustache man was able to kick the door in and the Soviets collapsed, although there is still a lot of fighting happening in Siberia. There's a Far East which has joined this world's NATO or this Western Union, and somehow during all this, the UK still hasn't fallen. They also got Ireland and Portugal to join in on their side. Now, Spain is fast 
fascist, so they're definitely gonna probably stay neutral so they don't have to like be on either end of this. Oh, and then of course there's Free France or former French territory that's now joined in. I don't know for sure if this is a cold war or a hot war because this is giving me like NATO vibes. Maybe there was a peace deal of World War II and it was kind of a stalemate. I feel like this is much more likely of a scenario than like man in the high castle, Germany and Japan just take over the world. Oh yeah, wait a second, what's going on in Japan during this universe? Oh, and also why isn't Italy there? So Italy's collapsed or maybe there was a peace deal a couple years went by and Italy's like, ugh, this Germany is kind of scary. Don't know if they're liking the angry Austrian man that yells all the time anymore. Also, this takes place sometime in the 1950s and it is in fact a cold war that's happening. In this world, I guess Japan lost. They could have never won. Always like the alternative histories that are not just like completely one-sided. I feel like a stalemate like this would be much more likely. The state of New Jersey across the dimensions. We have normal New Jersey, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Jersey, state of the US of Canada, Canada in the shape of America. We have New Jersey, a quick reshuffle. The US of Atlantica or the New Jersey Island, basically in this dimension. For some reason, New Jersey's taken over like the entire East Coast and they've named Manhattan New Jersey City. We have an Anglo-Dutch America, a Dutch New Jersey from Westerly with love. Wait, did you take out are you moving land now? A province of East Jersey? I am so confused. What the hell even is this? Okay, this is basically just like different types of New Jersey's big New Jersey, small New Jersey. But I am liking the flags and different government types each one has. And I always like to change the placement or city name and do something different with it. This big one is a New Jersey, which is a province of the United Provinces of the Rio de la Plata, like gigantic and somewhere in South America. I think that's a good spot for Jersey. Uh, so this is just combining like all the very crazy jerseys that people have seen in the past. Whether it's like a province or something or an island, I don't know. You'd be surprised to see how many forms this place can take. The Polish divide or what if the allied forces were even more successful? So in real life, the West, like the UK and USA, split Germany down the middle with the Soviets taking the East. But in this scenario, I guess they were a little bit faster. We were able to get the Czech Republic and then half of Poland. So this is a 1950s version of what the Iron Curtain would look like. So for some reason we've allowed Germany to just keep Austria. Britain and USA were just like, frick Austria. And then we've caused the end of Czechoslovakia a bit earlier. Funny how we've just like perfectly split this nation down the middle like they are nowadays. And then we have a West Poland and East Poland or the People's Republic of Poland, East Poland and Republic of Poland, West Poland. I wonder what we would have done with this Germany right here. This is still a very thick, powerful Germany and people were pretty upset. Do they still get punished? I and mean, they kind of already got punished already by like being split like that. Look this really pathetic Belarus that's going on right here. But man, this would be a massive Poland that unifies after the Cold War. Poland can into space, but maybe Poland can into divide. And big thanks to My wife hates this part. My name is Walter Hartwell White. Drew's Argentinian the Polish, grandpa. Lithuanian California Congo and Nevada Mexico bring back Poland ball. Base to finish dollars is a lot. Drew. Chris Dickens, Seven Seps, Danny Evans, Price, Gamers, Stole, Jacob, Lundenberg, Lover, Jordan, Ron Terrace, and Why am I doing this?